Good morning YouTube. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to do the software update on your Ultrax, your Minn Kota Ultrax trolley motor. Uh, I didn't know there was an update and uh, I've had some issues with it just taking off on its own, doing its own little thing. I've, uh, I've named it Bob and uh, Bob just does his own thing. Um, but I was told about an update and I've never done the update. So what you're going to need here is you're going to need your trolley motor. Uh, you're going to need your remote and a phone with a software on there. So we'll go over all those, but y'all stay tuned. Let's get this thing updated and uh, see if it makes a difference. Okay, so first things first, you need your tro your uh, remote, and go ahead and turn it on. So I'm right there at the, the start screen. I know it's hard to see in the sun. All right, you need your phone, and you'll need to download the iPilot app. So mine is the iPilot link. So I will have to go to the iPilot link. I don't know if you can see this on here. Uh, say continue, um, motor not found. So what I have to do is scroll back over here hit my Bluetooth, get down to this point, I'm gonna hit the pair button, where is it, and hold it down until others, the other devices, it will show up in here. There it is, iPilot link. There it goes, it says it's connected. Well, it doesn't say it's connected yet, but it said it found it. So let me see. Oh yeah, it does. iPilot link connected. All right. So at this point, I can go back to this program. I agree. Notice motor stowed. So that means I need to unstow it, I think. No, I don't need to unstow it because that's what it's trying to do here. So what I'm going to do, that's just uh, another remote for it. So iPilot software update and link. Um, well, it says that I am Okay, there's a new software available. Begin process to update. If you can, hopefully you guys can see this. So it's gonna take a few minutes. So we'll come back here as soon as that's done. Um, so my controller, looks like it's good. Remote is not on the software. So what this is doing is updating everything. So uh, let's come back here in a minute once this is all said and done. Update software update complete. My pilot's restarting. Alrighty, and we're good to go. So, what it's done is it's updated this. If if my Ultrax was out of date, it would have updated the Ultrax as well. Okay, so one of the things I've learned about. Hopefully, you guys can see this. I'm gonna scroll in just a tad bit. I gotta find this because I don't know exactly know where it is. Um, so let's see, where's my settings on this? System, but it's right there. You can do a software update here as well, but <coughs> you do have to have it. Um, boat scale, that's what I'm looking for, boat scale. So right now my boat scale is set for plus two. So what I need to do is probably change this down to a minus one. So what this boat scale thing does is, I don't know if you've ever been, or if you ever watched my shows and it looks like I'm about to get kicked out of the boat. <laughs> well, what that is doing is, uh, that's the boat scale. So 
Um, and this boat scale is set for a plus two. Um, if you don't have enough power on spot lock, you can move it up. So I went ahead and down, went down to a minus two. Give that a shot here and see if that's, or I went to a minus one, excuse me. See if that's gonna kinda help me out with my um, staying in one place. Cause even during a wind, this thing just way over, or without a wind, this thing just way overcompensates. So that's what I'm trying to fix today. Um, so again, how I did that, let me go back. Just taking your remote and scroll down to, uh oh, I hit lock, I didn't want to do that. Let's go to, scroll down to system and then boat scale and your options are all listed right here, what you want to do. So I've got it set to minus one. So we'll give that a shot today while we're fishing. See if I need to adjust it. If I do need to adjust it, then I can go down to minus two or I go to zero. Um, so this, uh, and I, I don't remember the exact numbers, but I've got 112 pound thrust on this. <clears throat> um, my buddy's got 112 pound thrust and he has a uh, ZX225, which is a model below mine. And that motor is actually rated for a bigger boat. So doing a plus scale kind of gives it a little extra horsepower, if that makes sense. Uh, more like a 40 foot boat. Uh, mine's a, what was it 30, 31 seven, I believe. Um, and mine was set to plus two. So I'm gonna go ahead and decrease that and see what happens. So. Anyway, hopefully this uh, video helps you guys out. Uh, a few things I didn't know about Ultrex, and um, just trying to figure out how to how to get rid of some of these issues I'm having, and that's one way to do it. So, anyway, uh, y'all let me know in the comments if you uh, have this problem, if you've done if you've done this before. Let me know how you fixed it, and uh, there may be some other th things that I can do. Uh, I mean, I'm literally at some point I'll be sitting there and especially in, in no wind like today there's enough wind out here but just a flat glass day i'll be sitting there and next thing i know i'm grabbing onto the boat because i feel like i'm about to get kicked out it just shoot, shoots out like it's on 10. but anyway let me know in the comments if you've had this problem let me know in the comments if uh, you fixed it and uh let me know if this helps you fix it so uh, anyway y'all have a great day thanks for so much so yeah so y'all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and uh, let's get into some fishing here.